So you probably know that taking certain vitamins can help with hair loss. But did you know that taking too much of some vitamins can actually be causing you to lose your hair? In today's video, we'll talk about the top two vitamins that may be causing you to lose your hair. Let's get straight into it. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin needed for various bodily functions, including vision, immune system support, and cell growth. Since it is fat-soluble, most vitamin A is stored in the liver and the stores can build up over time. It's important to have enough vitamin A for hair growth. However, excessive intake of vitamin A over a period of time can lead to adverse effects, including hair loss. When consumed in excess, vitamin A can disrupt the normal cycle of hair growth, leading to hair follicle damage and subsequent hair loss. Now, it's not that common to get vitamin A toxicity and it generally occurs when taking medications, supplements and if you get too much preformed vitamin A in your diet. There are two types of vitamin A you get from your diet. Preformed vitamin A, which is found in animal sources and supplements, and pro-vitamin A carotenoids, which is found in colored fruits and vegetables. The absorption of pro-vitamin A depends on how much we already have in the body. Therefore, it's unlikely to cause toxicity. Preformed vitamin A, however, is stored in the liver and can lead to toxicity. Other sources of vitamin A include medications such as isotretinoin, also known as Accutane or Roaccutane. Many multivitamins also contain vitamin A. So if you see any of these ingredients on your bottle of vitamins, just be aware that they're another name for vitamin A. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin A is measured in RAE, which stands for Retinol Activity Equivalence. This is to account for the different bioavailabilities of retinol and pro-vitamin A carotenoids. One RAE is equivalent to one microgram of retinol or three international units. The recommended daily amount for adult women is 700 RAE and 900 RAE for adult men. You shouldn't take more than the upper limit of 3000 RAE per day. Other signs of chronic vitamin A toxicity include headaches, nausea, dry cracked skin, brittle nails, tiredness, loss of appetite, and bone and joint pain. If you experience any of these, make sure to speak to your healthcare professional. Selenium is a trace mineral, which is an essential mineral that is only needed in very small amounts. Selenium is important for our overall health and is involved in various bodily functions, including metabolism, thyroid function, as well as an antioxidant. When it comes to our hair, selenium plays a role in maintaining a healthy scalp, particularly if you suffer from dandruff, but too much selenium can lead to selenium toxicity or selenosis. Selenosis can damage our hair follicles, causing them to become weak and brittle. This, in turn, can lead to hair loss. Selenium is found in soils, which then enters the food chain through animal feed and crops. Certain geographical areas, such as China, Eastern Europe, and New Zealand, have less selenium in their soils. Therefore, people in these areas are more likely to be deficient. Selenium is naturally present in many foods, including nuts, particularly Brazil nuts, seafood, poultry, red meats, and fortified grains. Selenium is also found as a supplement, and this is where you really have to be careful not to take too much. Many multivitamins also contain selenium. The recommended dietary allowance for an adult is 55 microgram per day and you definitely shouldn't take more than the upper limit of 400 microgram per day. One Brazil nut contains about 96 microgram of selenium. So you can see how easily it is to take too much, especially if you're combining high selenium foods with selenium supplements. If you're unsure if your toxicity is caused by too much selenium, look for other signs of selenium toxicity, such as a metallic taste, nausea, diarrhea, brittle nails, skin rashes or flushing, tiredness, irritability, and muscle tenderness. And if you think you might have selenium toxicity, make sure you speak to your healthcare provider. So that comes to the end of the video. If you found anything useful in this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.